Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. You know, I think the garage is a manly place. Oh, it's great. It's where men hang out. It's where men fix <clears throat> things. Oh, yeah. Keep Perfect. their toys. Yeah. But we, in fact, you know what? My garage is so messy right now. How messy is it? I'll tell you. If someone broke in, yeah. they would have to straighten up a little bit before <laughs> they could find something to steal. That's my garage. I once had the neighbor across the street call me and say, do you know your garage door is open while we were, Vicky and I were out and about. Oh, really? And I told him, you know what? If somebody went over there and took a few things out of the garage, I wouldn't hate them. <laughs> so. <laughs> Today on our show, 10 things you should never keep in your garage. And that's on the next Men Are So Smart. Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. How are you doing? I'm all right. How you doing? You? I'm doing okay. All right. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And today on the show, we're going to be talking about 10 things you should never keep in your garage. Before we get to that, I wanted to thank you for watching today. We appreciate that you're here. Many of our viewers come from the Fen Treasure episodes that yeah. we do, yep. and they almost kind of stumble onto these other hidden gems that we have in our library. Of and over, they watch them anyway. Yeah. <laughs> over 400 episodes of our show. Dang. I know. That's unbelievable. And also, uh, we're approaching the 100,000 view mark, too. So uh, keep watching the show, okay? Man, We're getting there. If I only had a dollar for every show we did, I'd have over $400. Four, one. Uh, I'm, I, I'm sorry, I didn't. Yeah, there's there's no math on this show. so I, I wasn't expecting it. You yeah. threw me. All right. So uh, <laughs> number 10. Well, one of the, the first item here they tell you don't keep in your garage, major appliances. Uh, refrigerators, freezers, washing machines, tumble dryers, Anything else that generally fits into this category should not be kept in the garage. Uh, most of these items work best at certain temperatures. Sweltering temperatures in the summer can cause your fridge to overwork, keep food cool, and running your energy bill, bill up at the same time. Uh, refrigerators operate less efficiently at temperatures below 50 degrees and will stop running altogether at temperatures below 30. Wow, I need to start keeping my kitchen a little cooler. Yeah. Uh, cold temperatures will affect the efficiency of tumble dryers as well. Hmm. As for washing machines and freezers, Good Housekeeping Magazine says it's okay to keep them in the garage if you proceed with caution. Be aware, could be problems with condensation resulting from heat and steam created during use. Uh, when it comes to freezers, they all have climate class ratings that tell you the best external operating temperature for them. Check the extra, the instructions on the referral plate. I hadn't really thought about that. I keep a fridge out in the garage. You know, that's my sanctuary. Right. I have my beautiful TV out there and a nice comfortable chair and a heater or a fan. And I got the garage, I mean the, the fridge, and it's usually full of beer. Hmm. Um, Could but be worse. in the summertime, mm -hmm. I know it gets really hot in there. Yeah. I, I hadn't thought about that. I bet we are, and it's not a new fridge either, so. Yeah, and most of the newer ones are fairly energy efficient, as yeah. long as you're not opening it very often. Right. It probably stays cool pretty good, but yeah, as soon as you crack it open. On our list of things you should not keep in your garage, propane tanks. Oh, yeah. The picture we're showing here, that's not propane, friends. <laughs> I work at a welding supply company that provides gas. That is not a propane cylinder. Nice try. If propane leaks in an enclosed, unventilated area, the smallest little thing can ignite a fire, starting your car, using your cell phone, even flipping on the light switch could do it. A leak can also put you at risk for asphyxiation. With that said, propane tanks should always be kept outdoors, preferably away from your home, and they should be screwed tightly shut. If it's winter, cover the tanks. If, however, you absolutely must store fuel in your garage, make sure you put it in dedicated leak-proof containers and place those containers on a flat surface away from water heaters, power tools, or anything else that could possibly cause ignition. And, all, of course, uh, keep it out of the reach of children. Oh, yeah. And uh, pets. 
Oh, even more so. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, next up is important documents. Uh, or as one of our local news celebrities says, important. 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 Okay. Important documents. Uh, you don't want to keep them in the garage. You don't want them to get damaged. You'd better not store them in your garage. The unpredictable climate in garages is a surefire way to destroy your birth certificates, family photographs, and other paper goods. It's not just the temperature or humidity you have to worry about. Paper products attract roaches and other bugs, which can destroy your important, important documents. Pollutants can also uh, destroy them. Instead, keep all your documents inside your home in a dry, safe place. Yeah, you know, one thing you don't want to do is have a box full of uh, important documents and have that water heater go out. Yeah. Bad. That can cause some damage. We have one of those little, uh, it's a little document safe. Uh, I think it was like, I don't know, $30. Yeah. You know, birth certificate, marriage certificate, things like that. I thought you said important stuff. Yeah, well, yeah. Next up, don't keep it in your garage, Ooh. a running generator. That's a recipe for disaster. You shouldn't leave a running generator in your garage for the same reason you wouldn't leave a running car in the garage with the door shut. Carbon monoxide poisoning. But get this, even if the door is open, carbon monoxide from a running generator can still build up to deadly amounts. According to a Reader's Digest article, along with the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, they recommend placing a running generator in a protected area for, from, for at least 20 feet from your home. Wow. Yep. Uh, this next one, I've been guilty of this in the past, wooden furniture. We, at one point, my father-in-law sold antiques, and so we had a few antiques in the garage. And I will, will tell you, this is true, especially with old furniture like that. Uh, the moisture and yeah. temperature fluctuations that are common to garages make them one of the worst places to store wooden furniture. As the wood swells and contracts, it will most definitely end up getting cracked, warped, or delaminated. In fact, it's best to avoid storing any furniture in there at all. It's because pests can get in there and make nests out of couch cushions. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, the best place to store your furniture is in a place where the temperature is at a consistent uh, place, such as an attic. Hmm. We don't really have a lot of attics in California. Yeah. Attics? We have plenty of <laughs> We got those. Yeah. We Up the kazoo. In that. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you've got wooden furniture out in the garage, do you really need the furniture? Why is it in the garage? What right. You, Sell it. Saving it for a rainy day? Put her on offer up. That doesn't make sense to me. Yep. How about food coming in at number five? We're halfway there. Uh, you shouldn't store food in your garage. Why? Well, for one, critters. They sniff it out and they get into it. Fresh food will attract vermin, even if closed. It's not uncommon for these creatures to break holes in bags and then chow down. A home safety and security expert says it's not just human food. Pet food and bird seed can attract animals too, so make sure you store it inside your home. Here's something else you may not have known. Canned food shouldn't be stored in a garage either, but you're saying to yourself they're non-perishables, right? Right, except at certain temps. Anything less than 50 degrees and more than 70 can damage canned goods. For example, a garage exceeding 85 degrees can cause the food to spoil. Hmm. For example, uh, dampness and humidity can cause tin cans and metal lids on glass jars to rust, which in turn can cause a chemical reaction with the food in the can. I'm not sure if you can see right over there, but I got a case of corn and a case of green beans. All I see is golf balls. <laughs> Yeah, just to the right of the golf oh, balls. Oh, okay, all right. Yes. Okay. Just to the right of the golf balls. So, yeah, we're breaking that rule. I have to tell my wife, because I don't want it in here anyway. Well, not in the summertime in Sacramento, California. Yeah, no. holy cow. Uh, next up, tires. Wow. Uh, an ongoing problem at the compound for me. Really? Yeah. Yeah, well, listen up then. Uh, you should avoid keeping your tires in a standard garage because of the climate inside at certain times of the year. Standard garage is a place that can be very hot, humid, wet, or cold. High heat can break down the rubber in your tires, and if it gets too cold, your tires can freeze. 
Instead, keep them in a cool, dry place like a basement or a workshop. Again, we don't have basements here in nope. California for the most part. Ain't happening. Uh, a cool, dark, airtight space like a trash bag is even better. It'll keep the lubricating oil on the tire compounds from evaporating. But if you insist on storing them in a garage, make sure it's a climate-controlled garage. So I guess when I bring my Corvette in, I've got to take the tires off and put them someplace else. Well, not you. Your pit crew will do that, right? <laughs> uh, not shouldn't keep these things in your garage. Paint. We're all guilty of this. Oh, boy. I know it to be true. Yep. The garage may seem like the ideal place to store paint, but it isn't. Extreme cold or heat can ruin paint, even if the cans are sealed airtight. The color can change, and in extreme cold, the paint can freeze. Plus, leaving the cans on the concrete floor can cause them to rust even faster. There is one condition, though. If the weather's temperate and you're in the process of painting the house, it's okay to stick a half-full paint can in the garage overnight, says Bob Vila. Uh, if you don't plan to paint again for a few months, however, tap the tid, uh, lid tightly in place and stash it in the basement or utility closet until you need it. Hmm. Or take it to um, the dump. Yes. Yeah. You know what they do with a lot of that paint? Paint? Uh, they mix it. They just pour it all together. And then at least the, I, I know this for a fact, for our local dump, they mix it together. It tends to make like a beige color because there's a lot of whites in there. And then if you have somebody's painted graffiti on a fence or a brick wall in your property, you can go in and get free paint and cover it up. Brilliant. Yes. That really is brilliant. I think it is brilliant. And when I was a pop officer, I used to recommend people, hey, go out to the, I think they call it a transfer station or yeah. something, but go out to the transfer station and they will give you a gallon of paint and then spray it on, cover it up. And the nice thing is like, you go you go and you get some and then next year you go get another gallon the colors tend to almost match like i said because of all the whites that end up in there white plus anything else will make beige you know i can't help but notice that when i've seen covered up graffiti in areas that it's always that color that like a tan color yep and that explains why that's yep. man i learned something i think we should just call it a day <laughs> But we got two we, more. We got a couple more to hit yeah, on. Okay. This is another one I'm guilty of. Uh, me too. Car batteries. Yep, I got two. Yeah, in there now. I got got one in there. Plus, I got two in each. Well, one in each car. So yeah. I got I got three batteries in here. Uh, did you know that if you lay a car battery on concrete floor of your garage, or any concrete service for that matter, the concrete can drain the battery. I knew that. Uh, I haven't seen it on MythBusters, but it is true. Uh, it's because concrete is porous, so when it collects moisture, that moisture is then transferred to whether, whatever is sitting on top of it. Um, uh, A handyman? Yeah, this handyman said that uh, Realtor.com said that newer batteries are less affected by the external moisture. Still, to be on the safe side, place it on wood or cardboard, which is what I do. I keep a couple of 2 by 4s Me too. Uh, and then uh, if you're going to store it on the garage floor... Use the wood or cardboard. Uh, it's best of all just to not keep them on the floor in the first place. Take them to your local automotive retailer. They'll take them in exchange. Yes. Uh, that's the best way to do it. And finally on our list of things you should not keep in your garage, electronics. Them fancy gizmos. Fluctuating temperatures. Boy, I sounded old there. Uh, Gadgets. I, I am. Uh, fluctuating temperatures and humidity levels typically found in garages can ruin internal printed circuit boards and cause electronics to short out. But believe it or not, it's not just the climate you have to worry about. You probably didn't know that small insects can get inside of electronic devices and damage their components as well. Huh? The best place to keep electronics, even those you may not use that often, is once again a dry basement or on a shelf in a closet inside your home. I gotta move back east where they have a dry basement. Just for just so we can save these things we don't even have. Yeah. You know my grandma had, she lived in Lodi, California, which mm -hmm. is a little south of here. She had a root a root cellar. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, she did all her canning and stuff. Uh -huh. And so 
it was nothing but a hallway that went down and it had two by fours like framed and all along that framing was canned goods i remember going down there and it was cold down there oh boy oh yeah well there you have it friends guys talking about garages uh i have a two-car garage i have six cars <laughs> that's a problem yeah. and when you can't even put two of them in the garage <laughs> that's you a, got a bigger problem that's another issue so uh th these are things you should not for safety purposes you should not keep in your garage and uh, we hope that you won't hope that you enjoyed the show today and maybe even learned something i know ronnie did yeah i don't know what it was but i'm, I'm just gonna get rid of them vegetables over there you damn tootin yep uh, i hope you enjoyed it give it a like a thumbs up uh also we'd love to have you as a subscriber um we are much different as a YouTube show than other shows that we watch. Uh, we actually are very interactive oh, yeah. with our viewers. And not just that, but we appreciate each and every one of you and every one of you that have subscribed because you know, we do this for fun. But YouTube looks at a successful show uh, from a, a number of different levels determining whether it is or isn't. Likes, comments, subscribers... That sort of thing is all very important. So if you'll take care of that, we'll take care of this. Right, Ronnie? We'll, we'll try. Okay, we'll do our best. We'll, yeah. we'll, Ronnie's on the job. No promises, but, you no, know. No, we yeah. don't promise stuff. All right, uh, that'll do it. Until the next time, I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. See you on the next Men Are So Smart. Bye-bye.